Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do another update about Matterport. Of course, their stock went up 17% on Friday. I want to give you a couple other reasons why you might consider investing in this company. All right, if you're not aware, Facebook changed its name to Meta. Makes me think of when somebody, a basketball player, changed his name to Meta World Peace. But in this case, it's Meta standing for Metaverse. And there are several companies, actually, that stand to see their business increase just from that highlight on the metaverse. So this article by a Benzinga staff writer lists 10 augmented and virtual reality stocks that might be worth watching based on Meta's new name. Now I happen to own two of these stocks. One of them is Vuzix. Uh, so that would be fantastic if that takes off. In fact, this uh, talks about Vuzix stock being up 14%. And then the other one is Matterport. And of course, its stock price went up yesterday. I really thought one of the drivers or the big driver of it was the Android app that I discussed. And I still think that that probably was a big driver. But in hindsight and retrospect, really this change to Meta also probably was a big driver. Now, you probably know that Facebook and Matterport already have an agreement for Matterport to share their data with Facebook to help train their AI and their robots uh, using a virtual uh, buildings, using virtual buildings instead of having to drive their robots through real buildings to train them. But this article here highlights how Matterport specifically can benefit from Facebook's rebranding. Now this is based on the writings or the opinions of Daniel Ives, who is an analyst at Wedbush. He's a managing director in the technology sector at Wedbush. He also appears frequently on CNBC, Bloomberg, BBC, CNN, Fox as a commentator. The companies that he analyzes are well known and definitely within the tech sector. So Matterport is right up his alley. Tip ranks, the website has analyst profiles. And so they have a profile for Daniel Ives. They rank him number 18 out of 7,717. So you can see that uh, his opinion is well trusted. In fact, he gets a success rating of 79% and his average return is 38.9%. So now that we've seen Mr. Ives' credentials, let's just talk about what he had to say in this article and another one that I'll show you. He highlights a partnership announced between Matterport and Facebook earlier this year. Mr. Ives states, we believe this is the first step towards a much broader Facebook and Matterport relationship as Zuckerberg and company head down the metaverse path. He also states, we continue to believe Matterport is in the early innings of a massive growth story playing out over the coming years. In this article in streetinsider.com, Mr. Ives goes on to say, based on our conversations with investors over the last few months, we believe this tech story remains under the radar among growth investors and we highlight Matterport as one of our favorite ideas heading into the year end. In fact, they added it to their best ideas list at Wedbush. He went on to indicate that the company's free to paid conversion model and further penetration of real estate vertical remains near term keys, a stepped up growth story looking ahead. This is what he's talking about with the paid to conversion model. Essentially, Matterport lets you use it as, as a try before you buy basis. So anyone can use their phone now, even an Android phone, which was, the app became available this week, uh, and scan their room, their building, and can upload one time uh, for free and generate that 3D model of whatever it is that they scanned. Matterport feels like this can be very effective. It's the no risk try before you buy approach. If we look at this graph here, I showed this to you yesterday, but we'll just show it again. Uh, when they introduced the iPhone app there in May of 2020, this gray line here, the free to starter subscriptions, just accelerated like crazy. Meanwhile, the red line also took off a bit too. That's the free to business and above subscriptions. They have 13% of the Fortune 1000 in their freemium flywheels. Now, there's one other thing I want to highlight that he said here in this article where he said... Penetration of the real estate vertical remains near-term keys to a stepped-up growth story looking ahead. I was out running yesterday, and I like to listen to a podcast called Marketplace. Since I was interested in Matterport, this caught my attention as I was running. But after what the pandemic has brought to this economy, what's normal about home buying might sound kind of different than what you're used to. Marketplace's Matt Levin gets us going today. 
Let's start at the beginning of your home search. You know, the fun part when you're favoriting Zillow listings with reckless abandon and not thinking about your down payment. Going forward, those listings will be much more high tech. Aaron Stump is a real estate broker in Sacramento. Now you pretty much have to have some kind of virtual media. If you're unfamiliar, virtual tours operate like Google Maps Street View, except inside a living room. A living room that may have virtual furniture. You can actually pay some photographers to virtually stage the house, so stage a um, vacant photo with furniture, and it looks pretty real. Just like in many other industries, the pandemic accelerated technological change in real estate. So remember the days when if you wanted to buy a house, you essentially were at the mercy of the realtor. They had all the listings. They would show you ones they thought you might be interested in. Then along came Zillow and Redfin and Realtor.com and others. And you got to look for the house you might be interested in and then take that to the realtor to make appointments. Then suddenly all of these websites, you know, they had their pictures of houses, but now along came a drone and drone pictures kind of became essential. Well, now 3D views of a house are going to become essential. They're going to become the standard really for listings on these websites because who wants to just look at pictures of a house when you can actually virtually walk through it and decide whether it's a house you even want to take time to go and see. So the two take-homes from this video today, Facebook's change to Meta for Metaverse may have significant impact on multiple companies. I showed you an article that listed 10 of them. Matterport was one of them. Matterport already has this agreement with Facebook, I mean Meta, and so uh, they may kind of rise to the top of that list in terms of effects of Meta's impact on the Metaverse. Number two, we talked about real estate and that essentially these 3D walkthroughs of homes are really going to become the standard and what people expect when they want to look for homes on a website. And who is the king of these 3D models for homes? Matterport. And so I expect to see Matterport's revenue from that realty end. They have many revenue streams, but realty is one of them. And the, the pandemic has changed the way that we will look at homes in the future. I hope this video was informative for you. Please give us a thumbs up. We need that for that YouTube algorithm. Share this with a young person in your life. Let's get those young people investing. We all know somebody that we can uh, talk about investing with. Until next time, enjoy your investing.